So yeah, I think in, in summary, um, this wasn't as hard as I was thinking it was to get the subscription into the user interface and to do this dynamic form. Um, I'm pretty impressed by the documentation. The Braintree developer docs have been pretty good. They have SDKs in multiple languages, including this Python one, which was essentially one line of code um, after creating, you know, initializing um, a client to connect to the Braintree service with my credentials uh, or our organization's credentials. Then it was like one line of code to get all the plans. It's pretty pretty well designed and object oriented. Pythonic way of doing things. You see Java, not too bad either, is it? So, PHP. Yeah, pretty much it's all just like pretty idi idiomatic way of doing stuff for each language. Uh, yeah, and then this light DOM has been really nice. I've uh, been peeking at it for a while, been looking at some like lightweight alternatives to React and Vue that give you sort of, re you know, reactive and um, declarative data binding, two-way data binding, uh, but don't need a whole, you know, build system or take over your whole front end. You know, Vue has a lot of um, pluses in my book by, you know, not reinventing HTML and by allowing for progressive enhancement, but this Light DOM has just really... Um, I've just been really impressed. It uh, doesn't quite have the same anywhere near the uh, development history. 84 commits, you know, or a number of contributors. Uh, but it just does what it does. It's small, no JSX, no build tools, follows web component specs, V1. I just like that. You just define it as a JavaScript module, which I hope has a browser that support ES2015. So, can I use JavaScript modules? By a script tag. Now, let's see, not Internet Explorer at all. But Microsoft doesn't even support Internet Explorer. Uh, we're going back pretty far in Edge. Firefox, Safari. I don't have an Opera. I thought they used to be pretty progressive with web standards. So we will have a little bit of browser compatibility issues with this, but I just like the code. I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, and then lastly, we just popped in some, a little bit of bootstrap. So yeah, summary, summary <laughs> good docs from Bra uh, Braintree. Light DOM is an excellent uh, lightweight declarative data binding library for JavaScript. And they use just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript modules. Uh, and then just some tweaks to the bootstrap. So we've got a, ooh, what happened to that? I thought I was able to wrap this up. Oh, that must have been an old tab. <laughs> good, good stuff. All right. Well, thanks for everyone for stopping in and chatting. Cyber guy, Rich, Rich, that is just your name. Nice. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Imperium. Good to see you again. Let's see. Keeping track of this account. I was here earlier. And prior to the stream, I was having a conversation with Quantum, who raided with a party of three. Appreciated seeing all these familiar names and faces, and uh, hope to somehow get this stream to be, you know, more interactive. Um, you know, doing things, adding the chat, improving the sound quality, whatever you'd like to see on the on the stream to make it more engaging, uh, to make it more community oriented. I'd be glad to make uh, to take suggestions. Like we're also doing, for example, live coding with this um, VS Code live share is pretty cool. So if you ever want to jump on a live share session, let me know. We got a lot of cool projects. So let me just commit this. Yeah.
get commit push. All right. Well, thanks again to everybody who's stopped by the Twitch stream. This has been a CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. If you'd like to get involved with this or other similar project, stop by CodeBuddies.org. There's a lot of study groups um, forming around different topics. Uh, mostly, of course, code related, um, computer science -y stuff. Um, everybody on Code Buddies is both a you know a learner and a teacher at the same time. We know everybody's uniquely uh, has their own learning path that we've taken, and we've all got something to share and something to bring to the table. Um, if you're interested in getting involved with a sustainable urban development or design project, uh, stop by this channel or CodeBuddies.org on the, this coming Saturday around 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we've got a really cool demo and we're gonna do some further development to get our 0.1 alpha prototype to take shape. CodeBuddies.org is also an open source project. If you go to github.com slash CodeBuddies, you can get involved uh, with the CodeBuddies version two project, the rewriting it from the ground up with Django and React. Thanks again for hanging out. Have a great day and stay safe. Enjoy the weather if you've got this nice warm weather we have in Finland.